really the nail in the coffin in terms of wait. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, so I was doing all those things, and but the thing that really inspired me to, uh, so all of those things were building. And then when Donald Trump became president in 2016, it was like, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I was like, wait, this man is about to rule the free world? I'm like, that Donald Trump that we, I said, man, look, if this man is finna make this, uh, if he is, if he is finna make decisions for the free world, I know I can go make decisions for my community. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, man, but look, it did inspire you to make a change, though. That's what's important. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, because- absolutely, mm. absolutely. And it, and I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it in a negative way because the no. thing was we came off Obama, you know, a black man, and I wasn't, and and, and I'm not 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 taking anything away from him, but I was not spurred to run for office when Obama became president. But the man that stepped up after him when he became president, and it was apparent because I, I, you know, probably like anybody, I thought you had to be a politician, right? Whatever that means, right? Whatever politician means, I thought you had to be that in order to be- He was a politician. Who? That kept losing. Who? Uh, no. Donald Trump. He no, had no, been no. in politics a long time, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, okay, well, yeah. he kept yeah. losing. That was oh. the interesting part. Ah, uh, okay. See, yeah, and that was the part of his life that I really wasn't privy to because, for mm-hmm. the most part, you know, as I was growing up, Donald Trump was always a dude in the rap videos and the movies, and he, hell, he was on uh, he was on wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I was a shorty, mm-hmm. and so. You know, <laughs> for him to see, for me to see him become president and me never to think of him as a politician or a political figure in no way, shape, or the form, uh, no way, shape, form of uh, the imagination, I was just like, look, if he could do it. And so, yeah, that was the last straw for me. But it was, for me, it was already building that way because I had already made that decision to really mm-hmm. stand up for my community. And then it mm-hmm. became even more real when I went to For Justice or Else and I'm listening to uh, Farrakhan speak. And Farrakhan was saying, like, we need 100,000 Black men around this country that's willing to stand up for their community, understanding that when you take these type of positions, that you will, you will be a target for individuals that don't want to see your community in a better position. So you got to damn near be willing to die in order to um, to better your community. And so I, I made that decision that I would be okay with that so long as my life meant something to the enhancement of uh, the culture, so to speak. 